Jenna Harbors, we are a home of natural health medicine. For viral infections, use Covidex. For cough, use Jenna cough. For flu and nose allergies, use Jenna flu. For ulcers, use Jenna acid and Jenna pep. For high blood pressure, use Jenna HT. For diabetes, use Jenna DM. For wounds, use Jenna cure. For weight loss, use Jenna feet. For healthy prostate, use Jenna pronus. For malaria prevention, use Jenna Mal. For immunity boosting, use Artmune. For tooth and gum wounds, use Jenna Dent. For toxin removals, use Jenna Beat. For more information, call us on 0701-111192 or 0709-036598 or email us at info at Jenna Hubbles, Uganda or Jenna Hubbles at gmail.com. Jenna Hubbles, a home of natural medicine. Welcome to Teso, welcome to Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. My name is Anya Jessica Sheila, Ogeuna, your host, and today I bring you a very special guest on our show. I do not want to say a lot about him because I am just overwhelmed and excited to have him here. You're very welcome, Professor. Thank you very much. Welcome to our show, welcome to Teso. We were privileged to have Professor as one of the keynote speakers at the TESO Environment Campaign 2022 and he accepted to honor us with this show to tell us about himself and to also encourage us to conserve the environment. But before we get into that, I would like to ask him to tell us about himself. Professor, you're very welcome to our show. There are a lot of people here who know you for COVIDX. So I would like to ask you to tell us about yourself and 10 things no one knows about you. <laughs> Something extra. Uh, welcome to Teso. Learn of good things. Yes. Ako Kori, chicken is the best from Teso. Mm -hmm. Fruits from Teso are the best. And people from Tessa are the best. So you're welcome. I'm called Professor Guang Patrick Engel. I work as a, a short professor of pharmacy at Mbari University of Science and Technology. But I'm also the chairman of Jenna Harbors Limited, the manufacturers of Covidex and other great products from plants, from foods that we eat. Uh, I was born here in Soroti, where I am now. The hospital is just nearby. <laughs> Though I don't know the day I was born exactly. Wow. But I was born in the hospital. <laughs> and uh, my home area is uh, originally Kalaki, where my parents father came from. Okay. But uh, we grew up in Arapai, just here near the Ginary, about three kilometers from here. So I know Soroti in and out. I used to walk on the streets here. I know the places. My school, Soroti Dam, is here. Oh. Arapai Primary School is nearby. Yeah, so. You're I can talk a lot about home. myself and going to talk, but that's enough for today. Okay. Yeah. So if we are to say five interesting things about you that people do not know. Uh, one is mm. people, don't know, people don't know that I can laugh. You can laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone takes you seriously. <laughs> they think I'm always busy. Uh -huh. uh, two is that people don't know that I'm tall. Oh. Do you know that I'm tall? At least I've been able to see you. <laughs> you are very tall, yes. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that uh, I actually like uh, doing funny things, like uh, pricking my nose, and my wife keeps blaming me for pricking my nose. Wow. <laughs> and then, okay, so I'll talk about the other thing I put on. I like I like doing unknowingly, mm. uh, poking my nose, mm. and it's dangerous. Yeah. It's the main cause of bleeding. In the nose, nose bleeding in most mm, people, mm. but they do it without knowing. Yeah, that's saw my daughter doing it. I'm like, hey, this thing's genetic, she's doing the same thing. Uh, the next word I put on about me, I think, is uh, uh, what can I think of? Is that I know many languages. Oh, how many languages? I think I know almost all the northern and eastern languages. Really? Yeah, and also now I know a bit of Luganda. I'm also trying to learn Runyankole and Ruchiga. Oh, that yes. is awesome. Yeah. It's good to be very multilingual. Yes. Thank you very much, Professor. Um, 
while we had our environment run that professor actually took part in a 10 kilometer race professor what was your position i did five kilometers uh. i failed to be the first <laughs> But also failed to be the last. <laughs> that is a good. That is a good one. <laughs> so I could have been number two or number second last. I don't know exactly. What you are. <laughs> now we get to see that funny side about you. So while we were at the marathon, Professor Grestas and uh, was the keynote speaker at our fundraising dinner. He pledged to support us with ten thousand seedlings of Eusuk. Eusuk is a medicinal tree. Professor will tell us about it. Professor, what inspires you? What what gave you the ambition and inspiration to take part in this cam campaign? Of uh, tree, tree planting, yes. Uh, first and foremost, I deal with trees. My life is trees. Mm. Uh, my company makes medicine from trees. Covidex came from trees. Uh, actually, could say trees saved Uganda from COVID. And the whole world. And the whole world <laughs> from COVID. So that's one great thing that trees are a source of life. Mm. In terms of medicine, in terms of food, in terms of rain, in terms of everything. Without trees, mankind will not be happy. So with that, you were able to come and take part in this campaign. As Mr. Tourism Teso and our partners, we have pledged to plant 25 million trees in Teso region over the period of five years. So, Professor, you made COVIDX. Was it a revelation? Was it? Did you study it and go into detail that these two components from these trees could be able to 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 help and heal the world? How did it happen? Uh, first, before I go there, mm. about two years ago. I had organized a plan to do tree planting in Teso. Okay. With the previous, I think, I think Miss, Miss Teso, something like that. But we failed to materialize it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to begin a program of generating seedlings in Teso of a particular tree called Grivelia. If you heard about Grivelia, Grivelia is a good tree for regenerating nutrients in the soil. So everybody can have it in their garden without sucking any trends. Mm -hmm. it, it grows quite fast. So I said it, it, it improves soil soil nutrients, but also the, the branches can be used for firewood. So I wanted to divide to grow the seedlings here, and each family is given those seedlings. I'm very happy to work with you. Thank you very much. We are going to do that project together with you. So yes. we produce it and give to families. Yes, yes. Now, the discovery of COVID X from Eusuk was not by, by accident. But was God inspired, I should say. Mm. Because for the last 17 years, I have been studying Eusuk. Yeah, last 17 years, since wow. 2004, when I joined the Ministry of Health, I've been studying that plant for many, many diseases and does many things. Mm. So in 2017, I, I and a certain friends, we found that he has compounds. And those compounds, they are active against viruses. There are like five, but two are two are known to be active against viruses, barbarin and I think chelerithrin. Now, when COVID-19 started, I had already been developing products from that from that from that, that from Ewusu. There are many products developed from Ewusu mm. for cough, Jena cough, Jena chua, for uh, for wounds, Jena dent for tooth problems. Uh, we have gene ulcers, cell chewers, ulcers, and many other diseases. Mm. So I had developed one particularly for wounds, sore throat, and teeth problems called genadin, or to be called gene tooth heal. Now, because I knew that it has a usuk, and it had compounds that kill viruses, when my friend got COVID-19 in Bar University, mm. an American friend of mine, I decided to talk to him that this product here is made from a plant which is which have, we have been using since childhood, Ewusuk, and now one called Abach. I know it has common that can kill the virus, but I'm not sure it can kill COVID-19 virus. Mm. But since you have the virus and you're not doing well, you take it. It will not harm you, and most likely it will help you clear the virus from your mouth, throat, and nose. 
He accepted. He used it within two days. His station changed. Wow. From from being on oxygen to no longer being on oxygen. Wow. On the third day, he called me that professor, I'm going to be discharged. It was a miracle, and indeed was discharged. Mm. His second friend also was a who is my lecturer in my department of pharmacy. He was also, was so badly off, but not so so much. I gave him. He also told me that after three days, it became negative. Mm. That's how I discovered that eh, maybe this thing here mm. has helped these two friends of mine, but I'm not sure mm. because you need several cases to be confident. Mm. So then, uh, COVID-19 disappears in November, December, January. There was no COVID-19, but then in April, the May, I think, wave. second wave. Yes. So a friend of mine in Entebbe calls me that that her friend who works at the bank was not doing well, was acting on oxygen in Kampala and doing very badly. Mm. So she was like, Professor, do you have anything for COVID-19? I'm like, you know, it's some formula which I sell two of my friends, but we're still developing it. You go to my lab in one in Entebbe there, on Entebbe Road, I'll talk to the boys to mix for you. So she went there, the boys mixed for her six bottles, small bottles, small bottles. Mm. As even there was no level, I mean, you take, but it will help him because he has helped two of my friends. And then, two days, I think three days, same message that the professor, the boy is out of oxygen. Wow. Again, three days, within two, three, three days. days. Mm. After I think uh, five days on a Saturday, I got a message that he has been discharged. Honestly, mm. I said, This is no longer a miracle. This is no longer by chance. This is mm. now God inspired. So, but of course, before I gave to my first friend, I had been praying for him. Because he was not doing well at all. Mm. And I was a bit disturbed because he's from America. I, I invited him to come here to volunteer to help us. He's sick. He has no friend, he has no relative here, he has no wife here. Mm. If he got, something happens to him, what will I do? Mm. So I used to pray for him every morning. So one day when I was going to the hospital to see him, that's when that tribulation came. That this product here could help that man. And I could scientifically just fight to him. Mm. So anyway, after the third patient, then COVID has to increase around me seriously. Yes. So my cousin calls me that doctor. I've made have those messages. I have not call send the message doctor where we have COVID. Me, my wife and my daughter. And for them they are, the him and the wife they are hypertensive, they're diabetic, they are not physically yeah. strong. Yeah. He's, he's old, he's in the seventies I think. Mm. Even his wife. But at first eh, I was so busy in the lab with my students working, testing COVID X because we wanted to get data quickly to, to submit national authority. And then the following day, the following day he calls me. The wife calls me, crying, crying that we are dying. Send us something if you have, please, we are dying. So I call my cousin, I do rush to, rush to a table and pick the, the six bottles, the bottles again. Again, went and play without labels. No, at yeah. that, that time we had made, I think, like 100 bottles. Mm. I've taken some to Mbarra University, which we are testing and giving to people, and now there are some in the lab. So we went and picked them, nine or three people. The following day, I received a message from my cousin that, Professor, I am okay, I'm much better. And Sarah is doing well. I wow. couldn't believe myself. Wow. Fifth, fourth, fifth candidate who were on oxygen, now they're okay. Mm. So I, I said this thing is worth it. I told myself, now you know one thing. Let us do serious work. Let us be fast. Let us run fast because this is increasing and here we have something. So mm. I, I said, tell you, that you go and do toxicity, you go and do chemical profile, you go and do the good thing. They are hard working and committed. Mm. So then, I think somebody in the test of education forum says, Professor Guang, do you have anything for COVID? So I just post. On the page. Where, yeah, we, um, there's something called COVIDX. Mm. We are testing it and it's strong promise, it's good promise. Yes. Ah, people now start sharing. Now I start getting calls from all over Uganda, even mm. Rwanda, Kenya, to want COVIDX. Mm. So I said, now, Mbara here, let me just go to Kampala, to where my lab is. So I told him that you couldn't work in the lab, me I'm going to a factory mm. to increase production because these people are going to need this medicine. Mm. I've seen this helping people is working. So I drove to Kampala, I reached Kampala around, um, I think, 9, 10. In the night. But I was getting like a million calls on my phone, I stopped speaking false. <laughs> because, of, because people were really urgent. People were calling, like Ogwang was the most important person in the world at that time. <laughs> but when I reached home, there's a phone that kept on calling all the time. Mm. And the, my, the spirit said, me, you pick that call. Mm. So I picked the call. Oh, a woman was coughing and crying and saying, Professor, we are going to die tonight. Mm. Me, my wife, and my daughter, we are badly off with COVID. Please, we are going to die. Mm. Please, we are going to die. Hell, a pass. Mm. 
I said, where are you? He said, since in Kasanga. I'm like, good. I stand near you here, guys. Or do you come? Let somebody drive you, or you send somebody to pick the medicine. Mm. They came. Her, the daughter, and the husband. Coughing. Mm. I think that's how I ended up getting COVID. I suspect because I met them physically like oh. this. Yeah. I gave them the medicine. I said, you're not going to die. They went back. At at eight, I called her in the morning. I thought maybe she had what? Go on. She picked the phone. She said, Professor. <laughs> I'm breathing well. <laughs> wow, how did you feel at that moment? I was so happy. Mm. I was so happy because I was seeing people who said they're going to die in the night living longer. Yes. Yeah, so so eventually she the following day and I called her, she said she's now okay, she's no longer just coughed once in the morning, the husband is fine, the daughter is okay. Okay. So that's the story of COVID X. Wow, very inspiring. You can talk more than twenty days. You said you got COVID X at a point. How COVID. does it yeah, COVID. Yes. Yeah, how how does it feel having COVID? Ah, uh, number one, once you know that you have COVID, fear comes to you. If I got kills for it's the fear, mm. Mm, not the disease really. It is fear because people say that once you have COVID, they are mm. So because of that, so actually when I, I think I was moving with it, I don't know that I had it, but when I went to test so I can meet meet big people, I you. found that I was positive. That's when I felt sick. Before I was just moving and doing <laughs> with the virus mm. because I was taking prevention of COVID. I would just keep dropping the mouth the morning and evening. So it, I think the virus was there, but it could not overcome the, what? the, 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 the medicine. Mm. The COVID, I think, was suppressing it. But when I found that I was positive, uh, then I said, eh, am I going to die now? All <laughs> my <laughs> dreams. We made the COVID exit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I said, no, I'm not going to die. Mm. I'm going to use this medicine. And my wife also said, you also take some more modern medicine. But I said, no, maybe vitamin. I started added vitamins. And I think an antibiotic plus uh, my genomal for fixing my immune system. Mm. So COVID X, genomal, doxycycline, and vitamin C. That's what I took. I did not get any serious fever. I didn't get any cough. I think mm. I was already taking COVID X before. Mm. I just got a slight increased heart rate and then a bit of. Uh, oh, did I even get headache? No. But but body weak, body body slight body pains and weakness, strong mm. weakness because I never had appetite. The nose could not smell well, but when I drop COVID, the nose it opened the nose also. I've tried to drop the COVID <laughs> X in my nose. Wow, it's an experience. Uh, yes. So anyway, so I was I was I was resting at home for day one, day two, day three. I was at home, even day four. I said until I think day day eight hundred tested, then I found I think I still had still the virus. Then day ten, the virus had cleared. Mm. Yes, I did not get like any serious major effect of COVID nineteen. So if you ask me, how does it feel? The point that depending on how everybody felt, mm. but one thing I learned that getting COVID will help me understand COVID. Mm. One, I discovered that COVID first stays in your nose and in your throat and in your mouth. That's why the first days we are making a mistake in treating COVID in the first wave. Mm. We are treating COVID like it was in the lungs. Mm. No, the first stage of that disease is in your respiratory, upper respiratory system mm. and in the GIT. So the drug must go directly to the nose, to the throat and the mouth first before you think about the blood and other parts of the body. If yeah. you capture it from there, you have stopped it. it will when you delay, you know, it with COVID, it makes, the, it makes you produce a lot of mucus. Mm. Too much mucus. That mucus one that chokes you, then you stop to breathe. Then you begin coughing. Now, when it chokes you and you cannot breathe, then your lungs begin to get less oxygen. Then your body begins to react to oxygen deficiency. Then begin to attack other organs. Mm -hmm. what you call cytokine storm that's the second stage of the disease if you stop to keep the airways what open to give mm -hmm. you oxygen then you can go to that stage but otherwise if early enough you keep the airways open stop the cough to the coughing keep the mucus off the person cannot die of COVID. okay no you can't that is awesome we thank god that you were able to develop this amazing medicine and the right is one, it's really a miracle. It's a miracle. Two, three, two, three days. Somebody is on oxygen is recovering two, three days. It's, it's <laughs> a know, miracle. I can't explain now. Such a, there's no in pharmacology mm. that is not there. Oh, so yeah. it, you you want to say that this is basically a miracle? It's just God's hand. Okay. The way it works, mm. it is it's God's hand. Of course, not only just the compound. I think the formulation, the way God guided us to make the formulation, mm. I, it has it has uh, of course the Eusu abach plus other other. Just salt, water. So I think that combination is the way it works to break down that mucus, stop the cough, handle the fever, kill the virus. I think that's many things at the same time. Mm. Mm. And all this is because of a tree. 
a tree. So, Eusuk and yes. Abach. <laughs> How do they say Abach in what is the scientific name of Abach? Waburgia Ugadensis. Waburgia Ugadensis. I can't even pronounce it. Wa, wa like wo. Uh huh. Wa, wa, bu, bu, gia. Waburgia. Yes. Okay. Ugandensis, that's in Ugand like Uganda. Oh. So the Ugandan type is called Ugandensis. Oh. The Kenyan type is called Salutaris. Surprisingly, those trees seem to be grown in Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Only? Yeah, and maybe a bit of Congo. Okay. No, okay, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania only. Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania mm, only. Mm. So it's very important that we preserve them. Yes. Yes, and we thank you so much that you donated 10,000 seedlings of Eusuk yes. to us. Yes. As Mr. Rizimte. So Eusuk and Abaj. And Abaj. Mm. Oh, hi. thank you so much. We shall start our campaign planting trees with the next trains. Mm. We shall distribute these trees at all bus stations that will wow. be coming to Teso and I other regions. I, I wouldn't want to give them from the bus station. Mm. I want you to go to the homes. Of the people. If they have dug the hole, they have planted a tree, you have watered it. Because they are going to put in a bus, someone just goes and drops it. That will be wasting. Pupe please, please, please. People from Teso, I Dr. I want to Ogwa. go to homes, a school, they have dug the... We first announced we're going to bring trees tomorrow, Bakata Punch. Mm. Big holes. Yes. The home with a hole, we give a tree. You okay. feel when we are seeing. We mobilize school children to visit homes. Mm. We give them some transport and water. Mm. So they show that we went to Oreko Gwangi, we found a pany, we planted in your Ekitoi, and our list is there. After one week, we go back and check that's being maintained. Otherwise, it's all going to dry up. Mm. So if you're not going to make sure that the trees are planted, I'm not going to give you. We shall be there at your homes and people from Teso, we encourage you that when we start this exercise, you must not just plant the tree, but grow the tree. Maintain the tree. Maintain the tree and let us make Teso great again. And Don't, let me say something. Yes. Ikitongune, mm. If you plant in Morecon, especially Abaj, mm. after three years, you start earning money. Eh? Mm. Akuike, I mm. buy Akui of Abaj. You look me in one kilo. Wow. So you're not only giving us the trees, but, but you're enterprising to, yes, us. They're going to earn money. So let them maintain those trees. They're going mm. to earn money from what? From those from trees. From the trees. From me and even other people. Yes. Because as, as Jenna grows, our, our mates are going to go to other countries in Africa, mm. even in Europe. That means mm. you need more raw material. So plant that tree in your home, abash in your home. You're going to earn from the leaves every year. From one tree, you might get like 200,000 or 400 every year. Wow. If you have 10 trees, that's 2 million every year mm. or 4 million. So why don't you plant a tree there but in your home? And you're giving us the tree. It gives you shade, it gives you money from the leaves, it will give you rain, it will make your home beautiful. So you're actually getting free things. That's you're getting it. a free seedling, you're working just to plant and water. Mm. And that polori, you start harvesting. Yes. And you sit under the tree and enjoy the, the, the shade. Then uh, Ogwang brings his, his truck, picks you, you collect money. And then uh, you have rain. Yes. So why don't you plant it? Why don't you plant trees? Yes. Tell them. <laughs> so, you're a ticket in your homes. You're going to do this from those abatch trees. It's a better than any city. I told him already. Down a dough. Right now, John Tesla made those sample already harvesting, you know, in Yamat. Mm. But here, we're waiting for a dough. Mm. So, until when? Because my ticket and later. Mm. So, could not write in the house, you know, and not do this again. I know saying around Kenya, a climate. Mm. I do not know when we need what we need rain. Yes. In fact, I, I, I invited friends up on the Tesla. Because I'm one at Tesla. They are fearing because I'm bongor. I'm one aba. So you can see, I'm trying to cause a bongor in the Naranyo. I'm one. So I'm not trying to put in the water. Cannot get money. You're a man. I'm not trying to put in the water. I'm not trying to put in the roadside. But if you plant a tree, you're inviting tourists to come. You're inviting people to come to the Tesla. So let's make Tesla the best place. For, let them say the Tesla is the greenest place in Africa. Amen. And it's possible. Mm. Thank you very much, <laughs> Professor. Um, thank you all who have been watching. And I hope you enjoyed this very interactive conversation. One thing that strikes me is, indeed, Professor is very fun. He's very <laughs> hilarious, and he loves to laugh, like he said. Uh, Professor, is before... This, is this fun which rotates and produces <laughs> cool air? Before we, <laughs> before we go, I would like you to give the closing remarks on tree planting on this campaign that we are starting. What is your last word to people in Teso? You said you speak 
quite kumam, a number kumam so in kum in aha silangoi langi so so for the people of the atekel will you kindly tell them to plant preserve and grow these trees so that we can make this region the best region as always yeah ikatunga uh after 10 now we write it up for fruits, emiebe, all those things, and also write write it up for, for climate improvement. Now I want to know, I want to test up. I'm going to have to be more than test up now. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. I'm going to have to go to the doctor. Opitu ni yenyo, teso, mi teso bed green. Pita batch, angara ulibuti. Pita eucalyptus, me udo senti timba. Pita maebe, pita jackfruit, me udo nyo. Fruits, ame miyo wa vitamin C. Pita yena toot kao, miyo mi teso nenembe kamete green in Africa. Thank you so much, Professor. We are so privileged to have you. We hope to have more conversations with you on climate as we follow this By campaign way, and track this trees. By the way, as Jenna Harbors Limited, mm. we want to plant one million trees in the next five years. The next one time. million, and we want to work with you. We are very honored. We already bought land in Teso, mm. over 1,000 acres. We are going to plant one million trees on 500 acres. Wow. And we want to work with you to promote tree planting. Thank you very much. Yes. We are very honored. Thank you very much, Teso, for joining us on this life-changing experience for all of us as Teso. Yala Manoi. See you next time. Ciao. Jenna Habos. We love Jenna Habos. We love Jenna Habos. We love Professor Ogwang. We love Professor Ogwang. We support Covidex. We support Covidex. We are Jenna. We are Jenna. 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 Now. Now. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Forever. Forever. Jenna Habos, we are a home of natural health medicine. For viral infections, use Covidex. For cough, use Jenna cough. For flu and nose allergies, use Jenna flu. For ulcers, use Jenna acid and Jenna pep. For high blood pressure, use Jenna HT. For diabetes, use Jenna DM. For wounds, use Jenna cure. For weight loss, use Jenna feet. For healthy prostate, use Jenna pronus. For malaria prevention, use Jenna mal. For immunity boosting, use Artmune. For tooth and gum wounds, use Jenna Dent. For toxin removals, use Jenna Beat. For more information, call us on 0701-111192 or 0709-036598 or email us at info at Jenna Harbors, Uganda or Jenna Harbors at gmail.com. Jenna Harbors, a home of natural medicine.